welcome again to day number two as we consider how to continue working on your marriage even when you feel like giving up even when things are difficult things are challenging you find it hard to go on what would you do what can you do and how can you move forward today we're going to look at some case studies I'm going to tell you some the stories of one or two people. How did they do it? If you are meeting me for the very first time, my name is Addis Obanjo. I'm a pastor and an unconditional love coach and agape coach. I, I help men hit their goals in marriage. So if you are a man right there and you, you have some goals that you want to hit in your marriage, I'm there to help you. I also help men repair and revive their marriage so if you're meeting me for the first time and you like what you you've heard so far then go ahead and hit the like button share this with your friends and subscribe to the channel now take note that there's nothing that i'm sharing here that i came up with by myself i got them from scriptures they've been around for thousands of years and i got them by reading books and we put i put all of this together into the what i call the love workout method that's what i i share so if this is something that you need i want you to the first thing you need to do is just download my friendship rebuilding cheat sheet. If you've not downloaded that before, that's what you should do. It's the first step in really getting to better work with me. Once you request that by going to adesobanjo.com slash friends and you download the friendship rebuilding cheat sheet. And also you can look at the description of this video. The link will be there as well. If you get to the point where you are so discouraged, you've been talking to your wife as a man about something she's not changing. This applies to women too. You've been talking to your husband about something and they're not changing. Even if they are as bad as being addicted to something, the same thing is the same principles apply. Before we can work on another person we must work on ourselves first so the question i want to answer today is so what do you do in the interim as you are waiting for the transformation well the first thing is make sure that you are doing well and if you've done well then just trust that the seeds that you've sown will bear fruit and you just keep sowing those seeds those seeds of love because you cannot really sow proper love seed if you've not dealt with the brokenness of your heart and you've not dealt with your surrender to god because what does love what of what does love mean what does sowing love seed mean it means that you treat your spouse your wife the way you would treat her if she was doing everything you wanted if she was living the way you you would have you would dream that she would be a wonderful caring very respectful godly kind wife does it mean that you will not feel the rejection when you try to hug her and she pushes you away or when you buy her a gift and she doesn't say thank you you will feel the the rejection but it will not come as rejection if you're properly healed you will see it as a reaction to a hurt you will see it as a reaction to a past hurt that she's still thinking that things are the way they used to be and because you know that you have changed you know she will be pleasantly surprised at some point and so you will not be offended you will not be stressed you will only wish that she knows that she has a new husband. And the test of whether you're a new person or you're still the old person is when you do not get any reaction, any positive reaction from your wife and you're able to continue going forward. That means you're a new person. When you know that you're, you have changed, your view, your, the way you see life has changed, the way you approach things have changed you're no longer looking to 
derive your peace and your joy from your wife or from your husband in case of a woman you are a new person and so when you try to continue to interact with your spouse the way you would interact with them when they are in a good space you will not be afraid that you're going to change and you will not be worried when they don't accept it initially because you know that it's just a matter of time they will discover the new you if you know that you become transformed you've gone through all uh six sorry uh the first six steps you can be patient so that you can then go through the last three steps let me show those steps to you again just to keep you in line with what we're discussing those are steps the steps the nine steps but there are three in 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 groups of three but before i do that let me share with you again remind you what we're trying to do we're trying to get up this pyramid from zero to ten percent of joy to 10 to 60 percent of joy to 90 percent of joy and then to 90 plus percent of joy there was a a client of mine a client of mine who had a problem with his his wife his wife and the challenge was that his wife was had made up her mind that she didn't want to be in a marriage anymore and she was looking for uh, divorce lawyers and uh, just getting ready to break the whole thing they were still living in the same house and uh, wanted help wanted help now when you see this you you may think that there's no hope but the fact that she's living in the house the fact that she's tell she told him that she maybe this marriage is not going to work and i'm going to get a divorce lawyer tells me that sh this is the final and last warning for that guy and so i told him we're going to do this you are not going to e explain um, anything or try to defend yourself because that's what the first thing any man would like to do when a wife tells you i want to separate from you um i don't want to talk to you anymore your brain tells you i need to prove to her that i still love her i need to tell her that this is not a good de de decision i need to tell her that this will cost a lot of money i need to show her that she's making a big mistake by trying to destroy this marriage that's what the man will want to do i had to tell him no when he already done that of course before coming to me but i told him you will not do that anymore from this moment you're not going to tell her why she has made a big mistake. You're not going to tell her that the marriage is going to, is not it's going to work and you uh what she's doing is going to cause her a lot of harm to her, to you, to the children. You're not going to do all of that. What you're going to do right now is keep your mouth quiet and you're going to apologize for the part that you have done to cause harm. And you're going to tell her that you have made a mistake you've made a big fool of yourself and caused a lot of problem in the marriage and you want to her to uh, make the decision but you are going to make changes yes you're going to tell her that so we we got we got to work on that thing just tell her i'm going to change what you said has really woken me up i know i've said it before in the past but i'm not going to do that anymore really i'm going to change and i've gotten a coach so that's what i told him so because when your wife hears that i i'm going to change i i'm sorry about this pain but you've done nothing new it doesn't ring any it doesn't it doesn't mean anything to her so you need to say i've gotten a coach and you of course you have to get a coach now what's when i'm telling when i'm talking to when i was talking to him he he had already um agreed to work with me so i said tell her that you got a coach and that you know how you've messed up and that you really want her to be in your life but that you know you've messed up so much that if you were in her shoes you wouldn't stay but you wish she would just believe you and work with you for the transformation that she's looking for now how does what does that mean that means that 
you're going to work on yourself, but that you're opening the door for her to see the changes. So key, key thing here is make sure you are following the process. Don't focus on the end goal. Follow the process. Deal with your heart. Deal with your connection with God and settle all that. Make sure you're able to look at God and, and say, Lord God, I thank you because I, I know I belong to you. I'm not living for me. I'm living for you. And uh, um, and the, once you've done that, they start working on rebuilding the connection the uh, with your spouse by talking, by spending time together, and, and then partnership by sharing goals and sharing visions and then intimacy um, by working on your connection spirit soul and body may the lord bless you increase you strengthen you and until we meet again continue to love like jesus and make mega impact bye for now